Welcome back. This is Dan Haby with CF Ninja Hacks, and we're going to keep building out our course today. And at the end of the last video, we had just put in our singular lesson that we're going to work with. And I came over here and I said, okay, let's go to our advanced settings and let's pick a template. And I started looking at here and I was talking about how I had changed the text in here so we had a better understanding of what each one of these templates was. And then I stopped myself afterwards and I said, hmm, why don't I even go a little bit further? And it says here, our new lesson, I'm not quite sure where that one came from. Uh, let's go a little bit further and actually change the rest of this name here because we know now that this is our module template and we know that now that this is our lesson template. So let's go in there and let's just call them that. Because if we go back into the customer center and we see here we got our customer center, this one here is now called Hero Theme Customer Center. We go to our course homepage. This here is our course template page. So we should probably change that one too. So course template page. So let's call this our course course home template page. That would probably be a better term for it. So let's go into where we have all these and it's not there. It's right here. I pulled it up. So let me see. We had course. Uh, let me see hero theme. Let's go back in here. What do we have here? So course template page. Let's see what we got here. Course template page is right here. So let's rename that. Let's call this our course home template page. All right, so we will update that page just so it makes a little bit more sense to us. And now let's come back in here and so let's open up that page. Oops, let's do that. Now let's go to our module lessons. And so this here is now our courses section template page. So we can call this our courses module template page would make more sense. So we had here, oops, courses, we've got a type course back in again. Um, courses, what was this again here? So courses section template page, courses section template page right there. So let's change that one to courses module template page. So we know that it's our module. And then the last one here was our lesson. And that one says courses lesson uh, template page. So that's actually pretty good because um, I'm like anal about things like this. I'm going to have to go in there, capitalize that. So we had here, so courses lesson template page courses lesson. We could just drop off the template page at the end to even make that a little bit less confusing. So it could just be a uh, courses lesson, or you could even just call it course or lessons or something. So now we should have all those in here. So now let's go back here and reload this page and let's see if those changes took. So we'll come to our course home. And so we got our course home template page. We have our courses module template page, and we have our courses lesson template page. And now let's go out of here. Let's reload this. Come in and take a look at our lessons here. And so now here we have our courses lesson template page. And then like I said, over here, our new lesson, courses lesson template page. I wonder if I cloned that and I completely am now forgetting that I cloned that somewhere. You know, I think I did clone that. Let's just, uh, oh, that's right, I did clone that the other day. Let's go back here, let's go back to our pages, and we made that a site page, didn't we? Yeah, here it is. That's why that is showing up right there, because that is one that we showed how to clone the other day. So, okay, there we are. So now let's get back into where we wanted to be, which was in our courses. And let's go back into the course we're working on. And so, like I said, the last we left off, we had created this lesson. We had created two modules. We created a lesson. We put a video in this lesson. And now what we want to do is go into the editor and start setting everything up specifically for this course. Because what we have here is our templates for our courses or our template pages for our course. So now we're going to go in and we're going to actually start setting up the course itself. So now we can come in here and we can click on customize if we want. And where it's going to land us, it should be on the course homepage. Now again, what we're looking at here is the 
template for the course homepage. Let me click on this here. So this is the template for our course homepage. So as I started working on this, I had to pause myself for a second because I'm saying to myself now, is this the template for the homepage? Or is this an actual homepage that we're going to be able to use that we can modify and make it look like we want so that every single different course homepage could have some differences to it, some different text and whatnot. And I'm not actually sure. So I'm going to, let's just test this here by putting in a bunch of asterisks in front of this page. And now we're going to click out of here. Sometimes it's hard to get out of those text elements. And we are going to save this. And now we're going to come back over here. We're going to reload this page. We're going to go to our course home. Let's see if we got there. Course home page. Yeah, so that is actually a template that we are working in right here. I just changed it. It's the same page, but this is actually the template for this page, not the actual page that we're going to be able to use. And you can see up here we have our templates as well. We have our default module page, which again was courses module template page. We have our uh, courses lesson template page. And then we have our, what is this down here? Courses module. So this is a, this is duplicate of the a module page there. Uh, but this here is actually the template. Now let's come down here to the lesson itself. And let's see, okay, so this one here, if we come up and if we click up here at the top, See here we can edit the template and here we can edit the lesson. So in order to create a new course homepage, we're actually going to have to clone this page and then we may not even be able to edit it here at this point. So let's do this. Let's come in here and we will take out these asterisks and we will save this page and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back into our pages, our theme pages. And so then again, we have to find our course. And we got our course home template page right here. And we are going to clone this element or this uh, page template. And again, let's reload the page. It should pop in here. Okay, so now let's reload this, or not reload this, uh, let's edit this. And what I want to do is I want to say that this is our success path. And we're just going to call this course home. And we'll take off the template page at the end because it's no longer a template. So success path course home. Don't really need to set anything else up on here and we will save this page. Now the thing is, is when we are in this level here inside of our course, I don't think there's any way to say to associate that with the course that we are currently working on because we have to customize this. And then we have this here. So this is actually um, an interesting thing that we're running into and I didn't, I, I obviously, um, uh, let me find where we are here in the lesson. This course home, this is always going to be picking up the standard template here, not the one that we're replacing it with. So at this point here, I don't know how we can swap this out. Well, let me see here. Now I think about it. You know, I'm, I'm learning this just like you guys are. Um, I'm just one step ahead and that's what they say. So Here's here's the thing. Okay, this is what we're going to have to do. Oh, this is going to work. Okay. And I'm going to leave all this in here because, um, you know, this is just how things work out sometimes. So here we go. That's where I can change it. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to put in our success path one instead. There we go. So there's our answer. Just solve that. Sorry if I wasted all your time there a little bit. But yeah, so that's it. Again, you got to remember is every single page has the ability to have its own custom template on it. So now in theory, let's see here, we got our success path course page right here. So let us just change this at the beginning. Success path course home. We'll put in there 
and then we will save this page. And then when we go to preview it, after we're done with everything else, then we can see, okay, is this actually that template that we put in there? Otherwise, I'm not going to really change anything on this page. I think you all know how to use the builder. You can come in here, change out everything right there. If you need to adjust any of the templates as you're going along for the modules or the lessons, you can just go into the templates right there. Also for the modules itself, you really can't edit anything in these modules. You can click on this, you can open it up. I guess at this point here, you could change out uh, a different template for each one of the module pages if you wanted to. But again, I think for the most part, you're not even going to probably be using the modules that much. And let me see, how do I get back to where I was? I thought there was an easy way to get back there. Maybe not. We will leave this page. Okay, so you just hit the back button, brought me back into the editor. And then on the lessons, the lessons is the most important part. So I'm glad we solved the problem, at least that I was having, with being able to use multiple different home pages by using different templates. Uh, but then now here we are on the lesson page. And as we saw earlier, you have this dynamic slot down here at the bottom or the body content, I think, or content body. I forget what it's called. You can put anything you want in here. So let's just say we want to put in a section. You can put in a flex box. Let's say we want to put in a two column row. And then in here, we can put anything we want. But let's go back up to the top. So just imagine this is your lesson. So on your template, and if you want to, uh, if you want to change this template, you can come up here and edit the template or you can edit the lesson. We want to edit the lesson here, uh, but you could edit the template. It'll bring you right back into this page right there. So we don't need to really be in there. So we will edit the lesson. Just stay where we are. But the template then is right here. So if you want it exactly the same every time, if you want it uh, putting in the lesson 1-1 here, we could do that. If you want your breadcrumbs, you can have that right there because it's all built into the template. So you got your breadcrumbs, you got your lesson title. Here's that lesson body element. Like I said, I don't think it is existing anymore. So if you see that on a page, take it out. This is where that video will play that we had just put in there. You got your button, but then we got our our element at the bottom here so what you may want to do is basically take all of this out in here and just have this element because then you can come in to this element and you can say okay what do I want my page really to look like each time so one of the things you could do I know we added in a section but let's add in another section you could just come in and say okay well I built this really co super cool section that I want on every one of my lessons and so you just put in the dynamic element and then you just go oh here we go we're just gonna put in this really super cool section into every single one of my every single one of my lessons. And then inside of here, you can have whatever you want. Well, okay, well, I need more than one section. Well, you can put in two sections if you want. So you just plunk in two sections into this dynamic element. And then the nice thing about it is you can change anything you want. So for every single lesson, you can make all the changes you want. Now, a lot of times you're also gonna to wanna to put in here the uh, sidebar element, I think it's right here. So you're going to want to put in the case or the course sidebar. And for some reason, it's not wanting to populate. Let me try putting it over here. Let's see if we get it there. It doesn't want to look good there either. So let's actually just, let's, let's just reload the page. We haven't really, I, I dropped in these things, but that was just purely for illustrative purposes. Uh, let's see here. Come back down. And we're going to add in a section again two column row and now let's see if we can get that course sidebar all right it doesn't want to show up right so you can put your course sidebar on the left hand side and then on the right hand side you could put in a regular video element or i do believe and this is something you want to test you could probably put in the lesson video element as well because we're still in lesson 1-1 right here so that video element should still play or you can put in anything else that you want so if you got custom rows, if you got custom whatever, you can put it in there. So this is without a doubt, this dynamic element, this content body, whatever the heck they're going to be calling this thing, um, that is the most important thing on this page 
make sure you have it on there. Otherwise, you can't put in any extra elements. And again, like I was saying, chances are you want to kind of strip everything out and just make some some sections that you have. And every time you build a lesson, you just go drag, drag that section, drop it in there, change out the text, change out the video, change out the image, whatever you want to do. And then that's it. Same thing you could drop in. These are uh, universal sections up here at the top. You could have universal sections and drop those in as well. So the last thing we have to do here is let's save this page. And I was going to, well, let's see if we can preview it because I don't think we're going to be able to preview it. Okay, well, maybe we can, but well, we, we got module one. So we got lesson one, success path course. Let's see if we go back here. See, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see anything because what was a couple things we didn't do? One is we have not published it. And we also are not enrolled in this course. Now, as the administrator of this site, I should be able to see it. But I know as of last week, they were still having problems with that not working quite right. So what we actually had to do was to get enrolled in the course in order to make it work. And I was looking down at my notes here for a few seconds. And that's what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to go through the whole uh, enrollment sign up process and then turn everything public and be able to come in here and hopefully be able to see something at that time. So again, any questions, just let me know.